the inconsistency of breast milk. So I think that, you know, I've been putting this off, but this is finally time to talk about it. But it's the idea of formula and what it means. Recently had a pediatrician told me that, oh, no, no, you have to add the, uh, you know, water to the bottle first and then add the powder because then you're off by, you know, a little. And then you have a different consistency of your formula and then that could affect the baby. And the question is, does it matter? How much does it change? And the idea is that, you know, for one estimate, 0 0.2 fluid ounces, that's how much the powder adds to the volume of the water. So it's off by 10%, which is minimal, negligible, doesn't matter. And I think that going back, you have to understand, human beings, babies, have abilities. They are not dependent on formula. They normally drink something called breast milk which is not the same consistency every single time. That much should be obvious. If you know anything about breast milk, you know that the part that comes out in the beginning is different than the part that comes out later. And apparently there's another part that comes out even later. Sometimes there's a lot of fat in there and sometimes there's not. So obviously it's different. Do you think that they can't handle it? Do they need to drink the same thing all the time, every single time, every single day, every single month? And the answer is no. They talk about if you dilute it, why is that bad? Well, they could go hyponatremic. Are we talking about a large dilution or a little dilution, right? We're talking about little, little bits. I don't measure precisely for formula because it's all within the range the baby can handle. Why is this so important to be precise? Maybe if you're dealing with a machine or a robot, but if you're dealing with a human being, right? If you drink water, if you drink Gatorade, if you drink salt water, does that mean that this person is going to get seriously ill and need to be hospitalized? If they're a normal person and it's just what they drink, not a big deal. Their body can handle it. Babies are even better. I mean, in the sense that we see adults hospitalized for this or that, and in the hospital we're careful about repleting their electrolytes, watching their sodium, might want to check labs again to make sure we don't give them too much water all of a sudden in the IV fluids. But that's for sick adults. That's for adults who have issues. We take a baby who doesn't have issues who naturally drinks breast milk that varies from time to time. The idea of a formula isn't so important, right? The idea of formula is formula is the same every time. That's why it's called formula. You follow a formula or the company follows a formula when they make it. And the whole idea is it's reproducible, same every time, but that's not what breast milk is. And that's actually not what the body needs, right? The body likes variety, it's actually good for it. And that's what breast milk does. There's some more fat sometimes, there's some le less fat sometimes, there's some that is just more hydrating, etc. It's all designed very well, optimally. I mean, everybody knows breast milk is better than formula. Why then do we insist on being so formulated, so rigid, so regimented? And I think that's the thing about dealing with babies. I mean, they're precious, they're fragile, but they're not that fragile, right? I mean, so fell, clank, hear the sound, she fell off the bed onto the hard tile floor, probably from a good two feet. She's fine, they fall, they bounce. Well, they don't literally bounce, but that's the same, babies bounce. I mean, you're shocked, you're horrified, should have prevented this, blah, 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 but hey, she's gonna be okay. They have resilience, they have the ability to overcome stuff. And I think that's the thing people forget with formula or they forget in general with taking care of babies, right? I mean, try to protect them, try to do what's best, but who knows whether 20 calories per ounce is optimal for your baby. Babies are different. Some are bigger, some are smaller, right?
How do you know how much nutrition they need calories versus how much hydration? That's the thing. Some people keep saying, oh, give them water. It's like, well, they get it in their formula. Liquid is liquid. Water is water. So if you dilute the formula, then you give them more water. Oh, no, no, don't do that. The pediatrician will say, what's the difference? Right? I mean, at the end of the day, you have to rely on their bodies being able to handle some stuff. Formula is not so precise, not so well thought out, not so brilliant that you could have a baby whose kidneys don't work and be fine on formula, right? So that's the thing. Natural stuff is variable. Man-made stuff is invariable. We say inconsistent versus consistent. But which one is actually better? Inconsistent breast milk or consistent formula? I think we all know the answer to that.